so hello uh, this is also a question from pathfinder for g advanced and olympiads this is a question from the topic of thermodynamics a uh, section build up your understanding question number 34 let us read the problem a horizontal cylindrical tube is divided into four parts with the help of two fixed partitions a and b and a movable piston c the tube and the piston c are made of heat insulating materials whereas the fixed partition a and b are made from conducting material that means a and b can conduct heat while c cannot okay volume between partitions a and b is v1 and the initial volume between fixed partition b and c is v2 these are given in the figure these uh, volumes are filled with ideal monoatomic gas at pressure p0 and temperature t0 outside uh, piston c pressure is also p0 that means to the right side also pressure is p0 delta q heat is slowly transferred through partition a so heat through partition a is delta q okay the gas trapped between partitions a and we find the temperature of the gases on both sides of the partition b and the heat transferred through it and suppose the heat transferred here is small q so the heat uh, uh, heat available to the this thing left chamber is actually delta q minus small q because the total heat supplied is delta q so one part goes here small q so heat absorbed by this part between a and b is delta q minus small q okay and which part is movable let's see uh, uh, piston c is movable so actually what happens here uh, this this region happens to be a constant volume process this is a constant volume process while the region just to the right of it this happens to be a constant pressure process because actually the piston c is movable so uh, i think and say if you look at piston c pressure to the left is always p0 so pressure to the right is also p0 okay so let us uh, find suppose the final temperature let t be the final temperature of the gas in the chamber i mean the chamber between a and b and the chamber between b and c now uh, we can write this delta q uh, so for the chamber between a and b and for the chamber between b and c two separate equation for the chamber between a and b the heat delta q minus small q is equal to number of moles uh, so n so what is number of moles p not v1 by r t not r t not okay number of moles into uh, cv cv is actually 3 by 2 r because it's a monoatomic gas multiplied by change in temperature so that's t minus t t not final temperature is t in both the region of the gas between a to b and also between b to c that will be those uh, two chambers will be in thermal equilibrium because the piston b can conduct heat so it will go on conducting heat till uh, those two chambers side by side when across b are in thermal equilibrium now let's go uh, move to between b and c heat is q so again number of moles is p naught v2 by r t naught times 3 by two, uh, no sorry that's not 3 by 2 r why you know that's a constant 
pressure process okay so for the uh, region of the gas between B and C it's a constant pressure process that's what I told here na? this is the uh, piston C okay so Cp is 5r by 2 times T minus T naught now we can add up the two equations to get delta Q is equal to uh, P naught V1 by uh, t naught here you get 3 by 2 uh, r will cancel out so you get t minus t naught plus uh, 5 p naught uh, v2 by 2 t naught times t minus t naught okay so what you have to find out final temperature of the gas so from so let's name the equations equation 1 equation 2 and this last one is equation 3 so just by simplifying equation 3 you get the value of t final temperature and the heat small q substitute that t in the second equation equation 2 you will get the heat small q supplied to the gas between b and c